I'm Scott Matthews. I'm a professor in the Department of Engineering Public Policy and Civil and Environmental Engineering at CMU. Well, I'd actually argue why shouldn't civil engineers learn about public policy? If you're a civil engineer, you're affected on a daily basis by things like codes or standards or regulation on the site. Uh, so to think that you could actually be involved with the design or operation or maintenance of a civil system without having a strong understanding of how the public policy process worked, let alone how to design or maintain the things you're working on in that context uh, would be kind of naive. You really do need to understand how policy works if you want to be a successful civil engineer. In engineering public policy, I have taught historically both undergraduate and graduate classes. Uh, at the undergraduate level, I've taught uh, the, the main engineering and public policy interdisciplinary project course, uh, which is a course that has about 25 or so students every semester working on a particular technology and policy problem. Uh, they work together to try to decompose that problem into various parts, uh, study, uh, the literature and build models and analysis of those and then put all those pieces back together at the end to have a single coherent uh, public facing report uh, to an advisory board at the end of that semester. Uh, I've also taught uh, an undergraduate course that helps those students be prepared for that project course uh, and at the graduate level I have taught courses in quantitative policy analysis which talks about building uh, economic engineering uh, sensitivity analysis or risk analysis methods into engineering models to understand how robust those systems are and how decisions might change uh, as the variables change.